Alrighty guys, welcome back to Flight Therapy. Today we have a 410 drive, mile drive. Uh, it's gonna be a long drive, but uh, we're gonna get on the road here pretty quick. We got two checkpoints today, and uh, we're gonna get on the road. I'm gonna drive this first little bit, and then uh, we'll switch off with Dad here after a while. All right, guys, we're probably 15 or uh, probably 50 miles down the road, and our buddy Austin that we're traveling with dropping cylinders like flies. I don't get that one too hot, just this part. Yeah, <laughs> my push rod actually looks pretty good. That's great. a good sign. I mean, it's not great, but it don't look bad. Hard. Don't blame the cup on your rocker there. Mm -hmm. A little carnage there. Sure. A little, little jacked. Not terrible. It doesn't look bad. It still bad. moves though. My friend ran a pro mod a long time ago that would run that. Wow. Run that, too, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna pull this side. Just to make sure. Uh, <laughs> Not a fresh motor. We'll be good to go. All right, guys. So we got two tied up, two, two cylinders tied up. So we're on six. See what it sounds like, and then we'll figure out uh, what to do from here. All right. Now I think we're ready. Game on. All right. Yeah. together that is not nearly as bad as I thought it sounds so much better than it did before I'm not even gonna lie that's pretty good yeah we're gonna check them we're gonna run the lash and then we'll get back on the road nice yeah. job I think we're good to roll down to six cylinders now get to carney Just got here to a gas station. I've been driving uh, pretty far. I don't know how many miles. I think it's probably a little, I don't know, maybe 100 miles. I don't know. We got 420 today, so uh, 420 miles to go. <clears throat> got the fans on, just cool the motor off. Since we're sitting here, we're gonna get some gas. Get back on the road and, uh, well, we're just cruising right now. What do we buy? Air conditioning. Really? Yeah. I'm super excited to have air conditioning. I got myself a bag too. Okay. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna ready to get back on the road. Just got stopped for gas and uh, we're headed on the road. All right guys, we just made it to the first checkpoint. We are just hanging out, letting stuff cool off for a little bit. We're getting, we're gonna get back on the road. It's like 4.30 already, so. Well, we're gonna just uh, see how far we can make it tonight. Probably go all the way, just. Might be up kind of late tonight, so eh, whatever. All right, guys, we're stopped here at the gas station. Brent's over here. Uh, he's got his this uh, fuel can rigged up because they broke their mechanical pump. But I think two ratchet straps gonna hold it. But another. Oh, yes, check this out. Looking nice. <laughs> So one, yeah, two, now, three, four, five, six. Zip ties holding the alternator on there. Oh yeah. No, it's when that through the alternator, the yep. mm -hmm. upper alternator pull the bracket that tied the top time joint into it or whatever, the studs broke. So I couldn't just throw it on there. So yeah, I flipped the whole thing backwards and I zip tied it to my rear support in the front. So it's tugging this way and every time the motor torques back, it's just, it's just tight. Perfect. Perfect. That's some. Hey, that's that's some, that's some racing shit right there. Yeah. Driver shit for a week and race it every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's what we're doing.
Brent is back on the road. We are probably about 90 miles out. He, he said he has to stop every like 40 or 50 miles and then put some more water in it because it's sucking water down. So I'll have to find out how long it takes. Checkpoint two, but we made it. We're about how far from the track? It's been about 45 minutes. 45 minutes or so, so we're gonna get back on the road. The lightning bugs are wild. See them? Yeah. Stop. Well, we made it back. It's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Shoe buddy. Let's see this real quick. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna take the trailer off here, dump it here for the night, and then. uh Head to our hotel for the night, get up in the morning, get here, and uh, we're gonna, Dad's gonna break the beams, because we don't, I mean, we put Max Rear End in it, and I don't wanna break it, Dad doesn't wanna break it, but I gotta still make my junior street passes tomorrow. So, yeah, but we're here at Kearney, we're gonna get this thing unloaded, and head to our hotel. Alrighty guys, welcome back to Blink Therapy. It is race day, and the final day of Rock Mountain Race Week, uh, the Blue Mustang made it everything good, but uh, I think we're gonna sit out the shootout that we we're in because we don't have our, our race tires that we we're set up for and Max tires aren't the tires we usually race on. Also, there's no any roll bar on Max rear end. <laughs> so, that's causing the left side tire to just pick up and that's why it spun. Um, so, it's not even worth it. We're gonna make some junior street passes today uh, and break the beans with Dad. All right, guys, change of plans again. Matt Frost talked us into just freaking, what are we gonna do, go out first round? It is what it is, you know what I'm talking about? So like, I mean, we're here, we're gonna run it anyway. We decided we're just gonna get this thing changed over. We'll turn it way down and get it to hook from the down low, and then we'll bring the power in out the back. Freaking get after it, so. So we're gonna get this thing changed over and uh, get ready to go. The bad news is, if you look at the skies, they're very dark. So that's very unfortunate. Alrighty guys, uh, let's see. Got the rear tires changed over. Got fuel system changed over. Uh, turbo guards are off. That about sums it up. We gotta do the, uh, gotta change uh, or pack the parachute. And uh, finish getting the back unloaded and we're good to go. You guys are calling uh, classes up here uh, for the heads up shootout, and we're in the next class, so here we go. See who else is in it. Brent Levistad with a 906. Let's go, Brent! Vince Rui with a 909. John Pickering with a 910. Dang. Sean Slaybaugh with a 915. <laughs> Kenny McGarry with a 921. Bill Armstrong with a 
with a 927. Let's go, Bill. With a stick. Steve Farmer with a 931. Good job, crew chief. Good job, crew chief. I tried. Over here, over here. Hang out with all the other kids. Yeah. Get it, bud. Come on, bro. Hurry up. Hey, let them know that we were anticipating this race. The family's going to be about 1.30. That's about the time this is supposed to work. Bob isn't broke. We're not broke. You're not? No. Hold on. <laughs> okay, this walk, Bob is not broke. No, no, Bob wasn't broke, no. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Okay, so pull your chips. Did everybody get their so what is it supposed to be? No, I want that one right there. Back out now? I'll turn your in. See what I got. 35. 35. I got a two. Somebody's going to hold the chips. All right, all the chips are gone once. Trust me, do. We're safe. <laughs> yeah, first stick, round. Stick guys survived. First round. Who's got one? Well, at least we're killing each other, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> one. Wait, who's running here? Who's got the one? I don't know yet. We're doing it right now. Five first round. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn it. Van A small block. I'm nominated. Who's got twos? <laughs> I do. I got it too. What color is yours? Blue. Left? left? Right. Okay. That's Thank great. you. Alrighty guys, we're gonna roll. Just break the beans just in case something wacky happens and uh, then we can at least say we finished. So we're gonna do this real quick, get back, hang out because it's raining. So that kind of stinks, but it's supposed to clear up at 2 apparently, so we'll see what happens. Hey guys, now we're going to sit in this rain delay and uh, wait for it to clear up. Okay guys, stopped raining, so we're going to do a quick two-step check. Uh, make sure it's not making too much boost, because we don't know how much how much uh, this tire will hold. So, as you guys seen, it blew the tires off. Only on like, what was that, like 4 pounds of boost, Dad? Yeah. So, let me try to turn it down a little bit. We're gonna put this up here. You know what? That's gonna stay. We're gonna put this right here. Try that.
Guys, that was a pretty decent first pass. It was a 1080. My burnout was freaking solid. So, that was cool. Had fun. So, we're going to get ready for Dad's pass. Alrighty, guys. So, basically, on my pass, um, we were testing to make sure that it uh, would stick for Dad's pass. Uh, it actually went a 143.60 foot, which I think is enough to uh, get down and go like a, should go like a 920, I think. Uh, so we'll see what it does. Alrighty guys, Austin Mackey, we took two lifters off this thing yesterday. Or, she's down two cylinders, my bad. She's currently a 249 cubic inch hot rod. Pretty sure I went like a 15.2 or something earlier. Got a bit of Charles Burr and competing on to uh, complete it on with Rocky Mountain Race Week. So Mackie is a Bracket Racer by Drake. On the converse of the right leg, Jamie Langford with the integrity. Here we go, round one, Jamie and Austin. <laughs>
it didn't spin, we would have had him. We almost did, yeah. Freaking came up on the chip super hard all of a sudden and freaking couldn't get around him, so. Uh, it is what it is. We gave him a pretty good run for our money, but uh, we didn't get it, but next year we'll be back. But here comes Joel. He's got a... Ten twenty. Were you reeling him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looked like he it burned was... it up, so I was oh, going after it. Yeah. He yeah, burned it. Yeah, pushed head off at about seven hundred. It was pushing out his vent. He did. Yep. Dude, if it if it would have hooked, you would have had him. Yep. Yep. I can't I believe light. it. It was like it, oh I don't know. It looked pretty good. Yeah. Um, it was like it was on a little two step, and then it freaking just like. I was like, what? Alrighty guys, we're gonna load up the old Mustang, but we're gonna hang around for the award ceremony because uh and just gonna make sure we're good to go so we can get on the road. We've got a little junior race we're gonna go to tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. So I'm super excited for that. But I'm gonna go find out where we gotta go to load this up. Alrighty guys, we got the FAF coming up.
I think this is who he was supposed to race. Here we go, 
we got Brent. chassis and someone else. Uh, we're getting ready. center where we're holding the ceremony got me a root Lemon beer butter. and um, white tea raspberry so that ought to be good let's go see guys Tied since up. the race got raided out they're using the reaction chairs to finish the races for the trophy they split the, <laughs> they split the pot, uh, I think, so they're just doing this for the trophies. Okay, next. What I win? 
in. <laughs> 870 bucks, friend. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Thank that you. That is You're funny. Welcome, and again, this is a deal I came up with. $250 my own money. I bet you're all still money yeah. along the way. Yeah. Congratulations. Yep, yeah, it looks like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick you. The best class. In third place. Let's see. Hold on. With a 1052, Tom Stark. In second place, with a 998 and with a Tom Stark transmission in the truck is Joel McGill. that we're all like at your back. This is just the way it works. Hey, freaking uh, All right, in Dasser. With a 1275 in the Willie's Jeep, Jason. <laughs> dude, Austin, dude. How's a new whip? It's fast. This is my award, guys. Oh, nice. You wanna see me launch it? Yeah, do it. Watch it. Oh, that thing's fast. Do burnout. 